Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day for all kinds of games. We're playing Hard West uh, because, <laughs> yes, it's a game from 2015, but we're playing it because it's an excellent game. I feel like these older games kind of get forgotten, but um, now the graphics are good. Gameplay's amazing. The story's very immersive. Um, it's good. It's a good game. And so normally this is $2. It goes on, or normally it's $20. It goes on sale for $2 during Steam sales. I think it's a great buy. The way to describe it the best is just it's XCOM in a supernatural Western world with, I think, a way better story. And so uh, I just wanted to start on this screen because I've mentioned it in the other two videos before this about the cards. So you collect these cards. And so look, look at this. Ten of diamonds, right? It's just a playing card. Although the picture is not something, I mean, I'm used to seeing on playing cards. Anyhow, what you do is you put these cards together. Let's do this. And so this one is uh, ability equalization. So it grants an ability. Active requires 60 luck and reduce every character's HP to 1. And you get, you get the passive bonus of plus 5 to aim. So things like that are pretty interesting. You can, you know, you can see all the different cards. And you, so you can put together hands. And so you get like a full house, uh, two pair, um, flush, you know, just like just normal poker hands. And um, you can put them together. And then so you'll get the individual card bonuses. Plus right here, it'll display the whole hand bonus. So let's check this one out. Ability ricochet requires 20 luck. Bounce bullets off one or more ricocheted objects. And then during combat, when you're going to take your shot, you you can actually it'll show you which items are <laughs> I'm gonna make up a word here ricocheable, and then so for example there'll be like a bucket hanging at the top of a well and you can shoot it and then you can hit a guy behind cover that you wouldn't ordinarily be able to hit. So anyway, just another interesting part about this game. I really love this game and that's just one of the little small things that adds to it all for me. So here's our inventory. We got a blood stained shirt. here so you can read the description um, protects from crippling injuries and I'm not sure if we get injuries no we do that's right because one of one of our guys got maimed in the face him yeah Warren got maimed in the face from going down that mine shaft anyhow let's check out these other items priceless relics okay blah 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 grants healing over time to allies in radius that sounds awesome. We'll put it on. <laughs> and then, so Sturdy Boots, we'll head over to Warren here. Plus four movement. That's pretty great. So, I mean, in this game, you can, um, you know, they have short-range weapons, and so that'd be something to give to your assault or rushers, right? It helps out a lot. And then $428. You can see right here, um, he was mutilated in the face, and it gives negative HP and negative 20 to max luck. And then... If you missed the first video where I kind of showed it at the very beginning, you can go back and to that video and check it out. But this game is kind of segmented into scenarios. Zoom. Oh, whoops, close. It's um segmented into scenarios. And so yes, this this person's mutilated. He's part of our squad or you know whatever our group, and um, it, it won't be for the entire game. We'll start over at another scenario with a different group of people and a whole different story. It's it's great. So, Tranquil Meadow, you noticed a young native woman with a basket, picking flowers and carefully selecting herbs. Initially startled by your arrival, she then offered you healing herbs for sale. You bought the herbs for $35. No thanks. We have 428 That seems like a big chunk of chains for us right now. You inspected the basket, but decided to seek out the healing plants yourself instead. Let's do that. That sounds like we're going to get some horrible consequences. So, items received... Three dried healing herbs, worn luck changed to negative 30. <laughs> and so that's what this game's all about is um, it's rolling the dice, right? For every choice, there's uh, positives and negatives. Okay, so we need to mine gold until our license runs out. That was just kind of a detour. Um, let's see if we can go get some black lung here in the damp mine damp mine with a P. <laughs> the mine looked like its hard rock depths were still untouched. There was probably gold down there. You rinse the platter gold. Or a placer gold. Um, 
You mined the hard rock gold, costing you $100. Sure. So you collected the hard rock gold. That was $226 total. So the net was $126. You can see in the bottom right here. It tells you how much it costs, and then the gross, and then net. The mine looked like its hard rock depths were still in touch. There was probably gold down there. You rinsed the place for gold. Let's do the uh, unconventional extraction methods again. Let's get greedy. The unconventional methods were effective but expensive. You first needed to obtain or rent the proper tools. Dang it. We cannot get greedy without the proper tools. Let's go back here. We're going to do these other options. So we spent $15. We got, you know, netted $5 for it. Great. It's not bad. We came out ahead. You excavated the deeper gold, costing you $40. You collected the deeper gold deposits, rinsing the rocks you excavated with a shovel. So we got $4. Not great. <laughs> Inevitably, news about the gold spread overnight. Several nearby homesteads and settlements were raided. Father worried you wouldn't make it, make it on your own. He figured you'd need protection. You disagreed, but went along with his decision for the last time. Because we're rebels. So this is... So mine gold until your license runs out. Ask the crime lord for protection. We're just going to go check this out. Mexican town. Go talk to you some Mexican people. The Mexican said uh, he'd help if you split your gold money with him. He left you a bunch of guns, some empty blessings, and a promise to send a vaquero to help out. So um, a vaquero? I don't know how to say that, but... I'm trying to find us some, co some more combat. Um, the only combat we've seen so far was um, the first episode in the tutorial. So we got a Navy gun, repeater rifle, and some other stuff happened. Defend the homestead. So we've got a quest. There we go. Combat. Again, it's it's uh, kind of top-down defensive, defensive positions. And then, so, this is kind of cool. I like this. Before you go into combat, it gives you this opportunity to change loadouts, change cards, and all that. So, we got Cheech. We go to the cards. We never assigned this one. Okay, let's see here. Equalization. We, we are definitely going to use that. We're going to give it to Warren, though. So, Warren has the boots that give him plus four movement. So, I don't think he's going to need the ricochet as much. Right, because he'll he'll be able to get in there and get in better positions. And so we have, he's got a six-shooter. We've got a Navy gun, so you can see right here, uh, the range is short, damage is five, ammunition is five. Then here, damage four, but ammunition, ammunition is six. We're going to go ahead and give him the repeater rifle. The range is medium. And let's see here, Warren... Old Warren, he's going to get the Navy gun with better damage. And good old Cheech, he's got some interesting stuff here. So sawed off Cobra, high damage scatter gun, powerful and easily concealed. Cone shot, aim negative five. That's an ability that the gun grants. And you can read all other stuff. And then we got a Western rifle. Anyway, let's get into this. If Cheech dies, it'll cost you $200. It's optional, though. And so I am playing this on easy. I thought that it would speed it up. Uh, combat, at least. Enemies have been alerted. Father and Warren must survive. So let's see here. The relic. This is the healing relic. Remember, everyone in range will be healed over time. Oh, grants healing over time to everyone in radius. We actually don't really want that right now, <laughs> obviously, right? Um, I think, let's see here. So this is half cover. You can see the little icon there to the right of the box. Here's full cover. Right there is at full cover. I think we want to be here. It just seems like they're going to be coming from straight north up here somewhere. And that's that. This is Cheech. We're going to switch weapons. We're not going to start off with the short-range weapon. Subdue, shoot. I'm looking for... Huh. Like for the uh, the Overwatch ability. 
I'm not seeing it though. And so you can see here, I use the mouse wheel and I can scroll between the floors of the house. There are two floors and the roof. We're going to send... Actually, Warren. We're going to send him out. We're going to see what he can do. Because remember, he has the, the increased movement. And he has the equalizer thing. Which will give everybody on the map one, one health point. Or reduce every... Everyone will be equalized to one health point. Uh, we're going to bring Cheech actually inside now. And that'll be his total action points. And you can see we have one more here on Father. And I kind of want to send him upstairs. Let's just see what he can do. Uh, maybe. How far can he get? Okay, so as you can see the, the outline of how far he can move. Eventually, we'll get up these stairs right here. So we're going to put him here. And end the turn, hopefully automatically. Yeah, there we go. So he, the enemy didn't hit him, and so Warren got reduced luck. And then, so you can see there, the first enemy missed. It used up 30 of Warren's luck, and this enemy hit, and it gave Warren 60 luck. And that guy missed. It was negative 20 luck, and then negative 33 luck. So you can kind of see how it goes up and down, the luck. And that's a big mechanic in this game for... Um, a lot of stuff for relics, um, I think for hands, like the cards that you get, um, and then just like every turn in combat. Equalization. Well, you know, we're just going to do this because why not? Oh, he's only got 60 luck. You can see it down here. He's got 27 out of 80. Let's see here. If we fan, yeah, let's fan. Let's check that out. So my, my strategy kind of here is to let Warren's going to just attract all the fire. He'll get down pretty low on health, and then we'll pop that relic. Hopefully, he will have enough luck at that point to do it, which at that point, I'm hoping that the enemies will be closer, and then they'll all have one hit point, and then we'll be able to pick them off with the rest while Warren uh, lays there bleeding out. This guy's got seven hit points. See that? I'm trying to kill this guy with fanning. Yeah, confirm, do it. Oh, it only took one shot. <laughs> okay. So here we go. We've got Cheech. Um, yeah, just confirm. Let's see, I'm trying to see. Oh, here's the rotate camera. It is Q and E. Cool. It just kind of goes in 25 or quarter turn increments. Anyhow, confirm. Negative 79 luck for that guy. Because we missed him, and I think we should have hit him. I mean, I know we should have hit him uh, just based on probabilities. Here's the, the one tough ombre. I'm going to need that luck. You could just hit Warren. Just shoot him. There we go. So plus 70 luck. Good deal. We're going to bring Father right here. This will use one action point. You can see over the, the cursor, there's an arrow. And then right here above the arrow is one star. That means... Exactly what it looks like. And, okay, so here's what I was talking about earlier with the ricochet. Here's a bucket. And so if we go like that, select the bucket, and then if we ricochet to him, another ricochet object or the target character. So I don't think any of these guys can be shot. He can, but, I mean, we can just shoot him directly, So which we will do. So 100% chance, damage 4. He's dead. Kill all enemies. We have 3 remaining. We can see them all. Oh, sorry, Warren. We're going to go ahead and... Yep. Boom! Everyone's at 1 hit point. <laughs> I don't think I've ever used that one before, but that is fun. And let's see. Yeah, we'll take... We'll take... I'm trying to see if... Okay, so you can just click on the guy. You can see down here it's 43% to hit him. 57 and 57. Yeah, we're just going to go after him and confirm. In case you forgot or missed it, this game is called Hard West. It's uh, It was released November of 2015. It's five years old. Still an awesome game. It's 20 bucks normally on Steam. 
during the sale. Yeah, I thought that would happen. During the sale, it's two bucks. The best way to describe it is XCOM in a Western setting. That's supernatural. I think the Steam sale will come out next week. Um, that's December 17th, 2020. Thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day for all kinds of games. Please check out my other videos that I've made in anticipation of the Steam sale. These are all old games that are going to be dirt cheap. And if you put them on your wish list, uh, hopefully a, a bunch of them will go on sale. I'll see you in the next one.